My blood ran cold when cheating wife called me another man's name during the act. My wife of 10 years can't stop cheating. In 2017, I uncovered two inappropriate relationships she was having outside of our marriage. Pictures, texting, meeting in person while I was gone for work. I hired a private investigator to confirm a guy was coming to my house while I was gone and we caught them. I filed for the divorce but a month later and lived through probably the toughest time of my life. During this time, we both went to therapy separately, and I started to have second thoughts about living. We have two young children, and ruining their lives seemed almost as bad as the cheating, so I called off the divorce. Since then, my wife has been in therapy on and off, and outside of some typical marital issues, our lives have been normal, or so I thought. Last month, while having Zach, she called me another man's name, we both had been drinking, so I shrugged it off. Another night, after she'd been drinking and had taken an ambient, she started talking to me like I was another person. Over the Thanksgiving holiday, I calmly confronted her, gave her examples of my reasoning, gave her a specific name. She denied everything. She assured me of her love for me and our family. She kept this assurance going for a few days. Two weeks after this episode, I found out from my kids that the guy I mentioned above had been coming over. I confronted her again and she admitted to having an inappropriate relationship with him and lying about it. No Zex, but Zaxton and visiting his house and ours. You'd think this was rock bottom, but it wasn't. We talked and cried for two days. We decided to go back to marriage counseling and make things work. I asked her if there was anyone else. I wanted to make sure all the cards were on the table before trying to repair things. Christmas Day. We were happy talking about fixing our marriage and how much we loved each other. I felt insecure but hopeful we could make things work. She passed out after a wonderful evening with our families and I decided to look at her phone. Shocking is an understatement. First, I found that she had been texting the guy mentioned above just hours before, telling him how much she missed him and that she wished he was here. She said she just wanted to let him know that she loved him. Second, I find she'd also been texting another guy, his actual texts, missing him, and how she's dying to see him again. This is all why she's proclaiming her love for me and our family. Turns out the relationship with the second guy had been going on for months. Unimaginable Zaxton discussions, pictures, and plans to meet. She actually did travel hours away from my parents' house to visit her family on two occasions and met up with him. One occasion was during the Thanksgiving trip I already mentioned. There is more. There were other guys in there. Nothing explicit, but definitely inappropriate discussion and talks about seeing each other again. Heartbroken, confronted her again with evidence. She says there is something wrong with her. She doesn't know why she's doing it, but wants to stay together. She says she's never had sex, intercourse with any of them. What do you do? It seems trust in this relationship is dead. Thinking about my kids growing up in a divorced home is heartbreaking. Is there a disorder that causes this? We have some marital issues, but normal everyday stuff, stress, kids, money, we are actually active, very active, and not boring active. What would you do? I love her. But am I a fool? Update. Just wanted to add some additional information about reading the comments thus far. First, no paternity test need. We had to do IV fee because she can get pregnant on her own. She is still in therapy and has told her therapist about the other man. She said her therapist was urged her to stop and tell me, but obviously that hasn't happened. Third, she has admitted to other cheating prior to our relationship marriage. Basically, that sometime in her mid-twenties, she preferred non-monogamous relationships. She has admitted to being the other woman in affairs prior to our dating. Fourth, 
She is a good mother to our children and they love her dearly. It's obvious what I need to do. She is a serial cheater, obsessed to the attention and excitement of being chased. This doesn't make things easier. I thought she was my soulmate. We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by Reddit listeners. Comment 1. Seems like a fairly simple problem to solve. Hire a lawyer and file for divorce. Stop being her second choice. You're her safety net while she is out ducking randoms. Adults don't just visit, they duck. The disorder she has is called morally corrupt broken human syndrome. The course of treatment is learning morals as young adult. Comment 2. She is a good mother to our children. A good mother doesn't bring strange men around her kids when her husband isn't around. All of the cheating and crap aside, she's bringing men she doesn't know around her kids. She obviously has zero discretion and good judgment. The truth is, you don't know if these men are there to ban her or hurt your kids. Comment 3 No offense, my friend, but you're definitely a fool. This is one of the most egregious infidelity stories I've ever heard. She's turning your home into a brothel and you're still trying to find ways to reconcile things. Just end this as quickly as possible. As a child of divorce, it sucks, but there are far, far worse things that can happen to children than... Parents getting divorced, your kids will eventually get over it, and as long as you are present in their lives, they will turn out fine. I, 17 male, believe my mom, 42 female, is having an affair with her personal trainer, 27 male. I decided to play detective and got some info. So yeah, found this out since mom had started to act for Lately, she started working out because she wanted to get into shape about a year ago. She worked maybe once or twice a week, but then she worked out from Monday to Saturday. Nothing unusual, but mom got very fit and she started getting attention from guys she was increasingly more happy, which my dad had no problem with, and seemed happy that she was happy. Mom started acting kind of weird. I asked dad before I found out if he felt mom had been acting weird and he brushed it off and just said she feels good about herself and genuinely was happy for her. Mom has been more affectionate and I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. She's not mom anymore and almost felt like she switched brains with somebody else. It was getting disturbing and one day I got curious when she said she would late from work and frankly it had been bugging me for months so decided to bike over one evening to where she was working. The car was nowhere in sight, no lights in the building. Her workplace has two floors and even checked the local parking garage, every damn floor, no cars. I decided to go home. I couldn't sleep. This was a Friday and then on Saturday I had confessed to a friend that I might be suspecting. He suggested I use the Find My iPhone app. I asked mom if I could borrow her phone to look something up since mine wasn't charged. She unlocked it and I enabled the app and she had her Apple password stored on the computer. I used to be allowed to rent a movie on there when I was younger, so I knew the password to her Apple account. Anyways, she left for work praying she didn't turn off mobile data I logged in and saw that the phone was nowhere near her workplace. Instead, she was in a neighborhood across town. I googled the address and found out a man lived there and searched for the name on Facebook. One mutual friend, guess who? I saw he worked as a PT at the gym where my mom went. Now I was fairly certain that something wasn't right. I screenshotted the find my iPhone map and the information. I had still no evidence she was actually cheating, but I felt I had enough. She had lied to dad about working late. And what the duck is doing at her PT place on the Saturday night? 
Should I tell dad about this and show him what I have now? Or do I keep digging because I am fairly certain she's cheating? I still haven't confronted mom about it. I'm of course gonna tell him if that's the case, but accusing mom of cheating when I'm not 100% sure. But what other possible reason could she have for lying to dad and then being at her PT on a Saturday night when she was supposed to work in late? And to all who judge me for digging, nope, not sorry. It was bugging me so badly I couldn't take it anymore. Update. Hey everybody, I decided to follow the advice and told my dad and showed him what I had of evidence. Mom came home and I decided to let dad take it from here. She admitted to the affair and I told mom what my role in all of this was and that I had suspected something was off for quite a while. I told dad he suspected something was off, but I was the one who told him. Dad was very calm, no yelling or screaming, he just calmly asked her what she wanted. Yes, I was listening, and then she said she wanted to try to save the marriage. She came up and talked to me, and I admitted my role in all of this, and how I had suspected something was off for quite a while, told her I was sorry, but... You were acting very strangely and it was driving me nuts. Mom just asked me why I did all of this. I just responded funny. I was about to ask you the same thing. Dad doesn't deserve this, I said. And she said, no, he doesn't, and she was sorry. I also explained how her behavior lately was getting on my nerves and how it was bugging me. You were never that affectionate. You started giving me a kiss and cheek more hugging part of me wondering if you were taking pills. So yeah, that was bird for me. I said hell even my friends thought you were acting strangely. And I get questions at school from people wondering what has happened to you. I'm letting them figure this out. Now I'm doing okay with this. And if a divorce happens... There is not going to be a custody issue since I turned 18 in December. So for me, things will not change that much. Dad and I decided to go see a movie later in the evening. We saw a movie had already seen it, but it was fun seeing it with him. I and Dad used to go to movies a lot. He's a movie buff, and we hadn't been because of COVID, so it was fun seeing a movie with him again. All in all, my dad is gonna be okay, so am I. Dad made it clear to me, don't be mean to mom and treat her with respect. She is still your mom and she loves you. Yeah, I said I will, and that was that. Update. Hey, just wanted to give a quick update since so many have asked. I'm doing okay, and so is my dad. Mom moved out of the house at two weeks ago, and we have not really spoken since expect for a few talks. She got her own place and told mom I would stay with dad even though she keeps asking me to come over for dinner every Sunday. Just told mom I need some time away from her, and she just texted OK back. Dad asked if I wanted to stay with mom this weekend, but I told him no. I'm honestly relieved she's out of the house. They are still technically married, but they are still divorcing. I told mom I will be staying with dad until December, then I turn 18, and she agreed. So it's not sure anything else is going to happen, really. I guess my mom wants to stay in touch, but I'm just avoiding her for now. So not the most exciting update, but that's what happened. And yes, I'm seeing a therapist since my dad convinced me to speak to somebody.